Hello, I'm David Brown from the SOLIDWORKS training team. In this video, I'll show you how to use curve through XYZ points in SOLIDWORKS to create accurate airfoils. Let's get started. This technique starts with acquiring the data. Airfoil Tools is a great website that has thousands of popular airfoil profiles used for designing airplanes. I will enter the number of the airfoil in the text search field at the top of the form. The NACA 4412 is a very common airfoil type and is a popular choice when designing RC airplanes, which is what I am using it for. Next to the airfoil profile is a list of links. You want to click the bottom link, Source Dat File. This takes you to a website that displays the X and Y coordinate data that defines the airfoil plot. Highlight all the numerical data, excluding the title at the top, and press Ctrl C to copy it to your Windows clipboard. Open Excel. Click cell A1 and press Ctrl V to paste the data into the spreadsheet. This places all the data in the A column. We need to separate the data into two columns. Select the header for column A, and on the Data tab of the Command Ribbon, select Text to Columns. Click Next, and for Delimiters, click Space, since the two columns of numbers are separated by a space. Click Next, then Finish. Now, column A on the spreadsheet contains the X coordinates, column B contains the Y coordinates. For SOLIDWORKS, though, we need to add a column for Z, which will be all zeros. I'll add these to column C. Now we need to save this as a text file to be read into SOLIDWORKS. I'll choose Save As, then Tab Delimited Text File as the type. With the new part open in SOLIDWORKS, click Curve Through XYZ Points. Browse for the text file of the profile. From the drop-down, select Text Files. I'll select the file I just created from the list, click Open, and hit the green check. Next, I'll begin a sketch on the front plane, select the curve, and click Convert Entities. Hide the curve, select the sketch curve, and delete the on-edge relation. Move the curve up and away from the origin. Add a construction line from the trailing edge and click near but just below the leading edge to add a coincident relation. Continue to sketch a second line using the yellow inference line to pick up a tangent relation to the curve. Move the endpoint a little closer to the leading edge, multi-select the two construction lines and make them perpendicular. Now you have the chord of the airfoil profile. I'll dimension this chord to six inches. If desired, drag the leading edge to the origin and add a horizontal relationship to the chord line to fully define the sketch. Select Extruded Surface and extrude the profile 6 inches. Now you have a section of wing you can work with. This is exactly what I have done here to design this 3D printable wing section. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this content helpful, visit the site below to access more content for designing with SOLIDWORKS.